So this video is going to be a what's in my everyday makeup drawer. Um, I got some requests about my makeup vanity and I will be recording a video soon. But right now I'm still decluttering. I'm getting rid of products that are either too old or dried up or I just don't use. I'm also reorganizing my makeup vanity at the moment. So when I get done with that, which will be soon, I will be um, I will be making a video. But for now, I'll be showing you what's in my everyday makeup drawer. And I guess we'll go ahead and dig right in. Okay, so this is my everyday makeup drawer. This first one here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what is in here. Okay, so first of all, I have just a little bit of everything so I'm not having to go through all of my drawers to get certain products. Um, we're gonna start from here to there and so on. Um, this here, this little compartment, three piece compartment here, I got from Target. I believe I got it from the bath section. First compartment here, I have my primers. Um, the first primer I have is my e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer in the shade Radiant Glow. And I like the fact that it has a pump. So that's really nice. Um, the next primer I have in here is this Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I'm not completely in love with this product. Um, I feel like I have other matte products that I like better. Um, and I just don't need this primer at all. So I'm just trying to finish it up. Next I have these two e.l.f. eye primers. These e.l.f. primers are about a dollar to three dollars um, depending on how big of the container you get. The tall one is a dollar and I got this smaller one in a um, makeup book from e.l.f. The taller one is starting to dry up a little bit and I have a little bit left in the container. And then the smaller one, the um, the lid cracked so it doesn't completely stay closed so I'm trying to finish that up before it dries up. So these are in there just so that I can finish them up and, and so that I can use another primer. Um, this pink container here I got from the dollar store. I got it a three pack for a dollar. And um, in here I just have my concealers and my foundations. I have these two foundations here, both from L'Oreal. I have this Visible Lift with um, sunscreen and I have the Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour foundation. Um, I have both of these in here because this one is starting to get a little old and this one is a little too light for my skin so I'm mixing the two so that I have a better color and um, so I can finish these up and use the other foundations that I have in my other drawer. I also have this concealer as you can see it's almost done so that's why this is in this drawer. Um, I'm just trying to finish it up so that I can repurchase this particular product. Um, I really like it for my under eyes. It just completely covers up my dark circles and it just looks really flawless on my skin. The next container is this blue container. I also got this from, I got this one from Family Dollar and I believe I got this in a, in a three pack for a dollar or two. Um, and here I just keep my single eyeshadows, my powders, my highlighters, things of that, that sort. Um, so I guess I'll start with my eyeshadows. I have this Ulta single eyeshadow. I bought this when they had a sale. I believe it was like buy two, get one free or something like that. But it's just this really nice transition shade and it's in the shade Camel. And I just really like this as my transition shade or in my crease. Next I have these two NYX single eyeshadows and I have this kind of like champagne shimmery color and this one is called Aloha and then I have this kind of lavender shimmer color as well and this is in the shade Frosted Lilac and these are in here just because 
I've been in reaching these a lot lately and I just feel like they've been lost in my collection. So I decided to put it in this um, drawer so that I can use them a little more. Next I have this for Makeup Forever um, cream, what is it? Aqua Cream Waterproof Cream Color Eyeshadow in the shade 13. It's just this really pretty champagne gold color and I just think it's a really pretty color and it's one of my first Makeup Forever products that I purchased from Sephora but I really like it and I feel like it got lost in my collection so I decided to put this in this drawer so that I can use it a little more. Um, I also have this e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. I don't know the color of this one. I believe it's Festival or Festivity or something like that. It's just a really pretty purple color and I just think it's a really nice color for fall. Next I have my e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I use this quite a bit. This is probably one of the very few under eye setting powders that I like and so this is in here and then I have my elf baked highlighter in the shade blush gems I just feel like I haven't used this as much as I'd like to so it's just a really nice kind of champagne colored highlighter um, next I have my Lorac oil free wet dry powder just a nice setting powder that I haven't been using a lot lately and I feel like I should be using this a little more. Um, so that's in here. And lastly I have this Coastal Scents Sun Tones Bronzer. I haven't used this a lot and I feel like it's just been sitting in my collection. And it's just a really nice bronzer. It's very pigmented so you need a light hand to use this. Um, but I really like putting this on my cheeks instead of the blush and giving me that kind of sun-kissed glow. Next, I have in this container, I have my lip products. In here, I just have a couple new products that I want to try out as well as some other um, lip products that I feel like have been I have not been using a lot lately. So first, I want to start off with this MUA Makeup Academy um, lip crayon that I just purchased. I have two of these, but I put this one in there just because I want to um, switch off between the two. And I feel like this is a nice fall shade. It is in the color Rose, and it's just a really pretty berry color, and I feel like it's really nice for the fall time. And it's been really amazing on my lips. I love this. Next, I have my um, Wet n Wild lipstick in the color Rosebud. And I just really like this color a lot. It's a really pretty rose color. The next one I have is this Lord & Berry in the shade Rose New. And it's just a really pretty nude color. Right here, it's like a mauve nude color, and I really love this. I just got it, and I've been wearing this like non-stop lately, so this is one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites is this L'Oreal um, lipstick in Forever Frap. This is amazing for the fall time. It's just a nice, deeper nude. And lastly, I have this L'Oreal lipstick in Unending Kiss. And it's just a really nice um, mauve pink color that I think is really nice to transition into fall as well. So a lot of rosy shades because I feel like it's a nice color to transition into fall before going into those berry tones and those browns and those vampy colors. So that's why those are in here. Next back here are just my brow products. These are like the only ones that I ever use are these e.l.f. eyebrow kits and I have them in the shade medium and ash and these are the two that I kind of go back and forth with and that I use on a regular basis. And then I have this Sonia Kashuk 
tinted eyebrow gel that I haven't been really using lately, so that's in there. And in this bigger container I got at the dollar store as well, Family Dollar I believe, or Dollar General. Sorry, this was Family Dollar, this was Dollar General. Um, and I got this big container in a set of two for a dollar. And in here I just keep my eye palettes and my other eye products that um, do not fit in these little compartments. So first I have a mascara. I have the Miss Mango Rock mascara. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the wand. I feel like it just clumps my eyelashes together and I know that's what it's supposed to do, but um, I gave it a shot and I really don't like it, so I'm just trying to use it up before um, it dries out. I also have this Silk Kiss Me eyeliner in the shade Charcoal from L'Oreal, and it's just a really nice, um, smooth eyeliner. Very, very creamy, and I feel like it smudges a lot, so I feel like it's a better um, eyeliner to smoke out if you're doing a smoky look so I really think it's really pretty um, pretty to use during the fall time so um, that's in here I also have my holy grail <laughs> L'Oreal super slim liquid eyeliner and it just has this belt tip so I've been using this a lot and this is just my go-to eyeliner lately so that's in there of course, my final brow product is the NYX Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown, and it's just what I've been using on my brows lately. So, and then I have this e.l.f. Makeup Remover Pen because you never know when you make a mistake. I make quite a few mistakes, so this always comes in handy, so this is in here, definitely. <laughs> and also my Coastal Scents. Reveal 2 palette. I just think it's a pretty palette for the fall time. It has all these rosy colors. I just feel like the rosy looks and the mauves and the smoky looks look really great during the fall time. So I have this palette in here so that I can use this a little more. That's all for this drawer. Um, I hope you guys like this video let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see these more often I do change up this drawer um, every two weeks or so so that um, my collection gets a little more love so please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys